or when was Mozart? What period? Modern or classical? Very good. Okay. So is <clears throat> so what happens in classical music? What do we need to remember? What's the sort of style? Do we have syncopations like jazz music? No. no. What about the character of the classical music? It, everything is very uh, soft. Yes. Anything else? Light. Yes, light. And it's very graceful and elegant. Okay, that's number one. Okay, so when people are, are you doing the exemption? Maybe later. Yeah, sure. So just make sure that in the overall style of um, uh, classical music, we make it very light and elegant and graceful. Okay, it's always very beautiful at the time. Okay, now one very important thing you need to get it right is the tempo. Okay, it's your speed. Okay, a very challenging um, factor of this piece is that. Uh, uh, sometimes we have the running notes, sometimes we have the steady notes, sometimes we have all these changes, right? The changes through a lot of different rhythms. Always remember your quickest note. Before you start, I will think about this in my head first. Can you just play that line for me, to him? What's the easiest way we can do this? When we go up, we and then come down. So there's a lot of up and down, up and down. Okay, that's one thing. And also because we're starting from the first group, the second group, third group, from here it starts off. Gentle. 
and then give some room so that when we get loud, we can make it really exciting. Okay, try. Gentle. That's it. Farmers, the peasants, the king, the queen, the royal members, right? And are they very graceful and elegant? Yeah. So the music's got to reflect, you know, the, the audience. Now, there are some things that are considered not very elegant, or possibly not elegant. Is that elegant? No. So, a lot of times, what are these little tiny notes called? Grace notes. So, do you like the title of, of the note? Grace notes. They need to be played gracefully. Okay, so they're not crash notes. Don't mistake them for. We're going to separate those two notes. Can we give it a go? But don't let go. Uh, don't 
That was 300 years ago, might not have the same meaning as the word nowadays. So staccatos back then didn't mean short, right? Because that's not, that's not elegant. Staccatos back then meant detachments. For example, here. They're not legato, no, right? Like, I said it before, start with B. B. Attach. <laughs> yes, detach. Or there's another word for it. What's uh, what does a word in Italian mean that means moderate? Okay. Me yes, mezzo staccato. So places like over here, that after the. <laughs> What's one way of not being nervous at the standards? Or performances or for exams. Nothing? <laughs> Just be nervous? <laughs> I know. You should participate more in performances. The, the whole 
whole idea is why we're nervous, why we're scared when we go on stage is because we don't do it a lot. Not like we do it every single week when we go to a lesson, right? You're comfortable playing in front of your teacher, comfortable playing in front of your parents at home, but because we don't perform a lot, we get very scared when we go on stage. So whatever chance you can get, go perform at school, assembly, or competitions, or a real masterclass, okay? All right? Anyway, great work. Next performer, we have Ian.